welcome to the Bible with Priest Code 2024. I am your messenger of the Word of God, sending to a verse go in today. We're going to be covering Job 22 through 24 and Acts 11. Father, I just ask for clarity of your voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your Word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. Aliphaz accuses and extorts Job. Job 22. Then Aliphaz, the Timonite, responded, Can a strong man be of use to God, or a wise one be useful to himself? Is it any pleasure to the Almighty if you are righteous, or gain if you make your ways blameless or it is it because of your reverence that he punishes you that he enters into judgment against you is your wickedness not abundant and is there no end to your guilty deed for you have seized pledges from your brothers without cause and stripped people naked you have given the weary no water to drink, and you have withheld bread from the hungry. But the earth belongs to the powerful man, and the one who is honorable dwells on it. Now you have sent widows away empty, and the strength of orphans has been crushed. And therefore, traps surround you and sudden dread terrifies you, or darkness so that you cannot see, and fl a flood of water covers you. Is God not in the height of heaven? Look, look also at the highest stars. How high are they? But you say, what does God know? Can he judge through the thick darkness? Clouds are a hiding place for him, so that he cannot see. And he walks on the vault of heaven. Will you keep to the ancient path which wicked people have walked, who were snatched away before their time? Those foundations were washed away by a river. They said to God, Go away from us, and what can the Almighty do to them? Yet he filled their houses with good things, but the advice of the wicked is far from me. The righteous see and are glad, and the incontent mock them, saying, Truly our enemies are eliminated, and fire has consumed their abundances. <laughs> Be reconciled with him and be at peace thereby, and go of goodwill come to you. Please receive instruction from his mouth, and put his words in your heart. If you return to the Almighty, you will be restored. If you remove injustice from far from your shant, and put your gold in the dust, and the gold of a friar among the stones of the Roots, then the Almighty will be your gold and abundant silver to you. For then you will take pleasure in the Almighty and lift up your face to God. And you will pray to Him, and He will hear you. And you will pay your vows, and you will also decide something and it will be established for you. And light will shine on your ways, and when they have brought you low, you will speak with confidence, and he will save the humble person. He will rescue one who is not innocent, and he will be rescued due to the cleanliness of your hands.
Job says, he longs for God. Job 23. Then Job responded, Even today my complaint is rebellion. His hand is heavy despite my groaning. Oh, that I knew him, how to find him, that I might come to his home. I would present my case before him and fill my mouth with argument. I would learn the words which he would answer and perceive what he would tell me. Would he contend with me by greatness of his power? No, surely he would not. He would pay attention to me, and there the upright would argue with him, and I would be free of my judge forever. Behold, I go before, but he is not there, and I go backwards, but he, I cannot perceive him. And when he acts on the left, I cannot see him. And he turns to the right, but I cannot see him. But he knows the way I take. And when he t has put me to the test, I will come out as gold. My foot has held up on his path, and I have kept his ways and not turned aside. I have not failed and commanded the commands of his lips and I have treasured the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. But he is unique, and who can make him turn? Whatever his soul desires, he does it, for he carries out what is dis destined for me, and many such destinies are with him. And therefore, I would be terrified at his presence. And when I consider this, I am frightened of him. It is God who has made my heart faint, and the Almighty who has terrified me. But I am not destroyed by darkness, nor done deep in gloom, which covers me. Job says, God seems to ignore wrongs. Job 24. Why are times not stored up by the Almighty? And why do those you know who know him not see his days? People remove landmarks. They seize and devour flocks. They drive away the donkeys of orphans. And they seize the widow's ox as a pledge. They push and the needy aside from the road, and the poor of the land have to hide themselves together. Behold, like wild donkeys in the wilderness, they go out scavenging for food in their activities, as bread for their children in the desert. They harvest their feed in the fields, and glean the vineyards of the wicked, and they spread the night naked without clothing and have no coverings against the cold and they are wet from the mountain rains and they hung the rock for lack of a shelter others snatch an orphan from the breast and they seize it as a pledge against the poor and the poor remo uh, move about naked without clothing and they carry sheaves while doing, uh, while going hungry. And within the walls, they produce oil, and they tried, tread wine presses, but go thirsty. From the city, people groan, and the souls of the wonder of the wounded cry for help. And yet God does not pay attention to the offenses others have been with those who rebel against the light, rebel against the light, and they do not know to, they do not want to know its ways, nor stay in its path. The murderer arises at dawn, 
and kills the poor and the needy. And the, at night he kill, or he is like a thief. The eyes of the idolater watches for the twilight, and saying, No eye will see me. And he disguises his face in the darkness, and they dig into houses. They shut themselves up by day, and they do not know the light, for the morning is the same to him as their thick darkness. For he is a familiar with the terrors of thick darkness. They are insignificant on the surface of the water, and their plot for land on the earth is cursed. They do not turn toward the vineyard in dryness, and he snatch away the snow and waters. As Shoal snatches there of uh, those who have sinned, a mother will forget him. The maggots feed sweetly until he is no longer remembered, and injustice will be broken like a tree. And he wrongs the infertile woman, and does not, does not, does not, uh, does no good for the widow. But he drags off the mighty by his power, and he raises up, a uh, and he rises. But no one has assurance of life. He provides them with security and they are supported, and his eyes are on their ways. They are exalted a little while, and then they are gone. Moreover, they are brought low, and like everything, they are gathered up, like the heads of grain. They wither. Now, if it is not so, who can prove me a liar and make my speech? worthless. And that was Job 22 through 24. And now we will be turning to Acts 11. Peter reports in Jerusalem. Acts 11. Now the apostles and the brothers and sisters who were throughout Judea heard that the Gentiles also had received the word of God. And when Peter came to, up to Jerusalem, the Jewish believers took issue with him, saying, You went to uncircumcised men and ate with them? But Peter began and explained to, to at length to them in an orderly sequence, saying, I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in the trance I saw a vision. An object coming down like a great sheet lowered by four corners from the sky. And it came to where I was. And I star stared at it and was thinking about it. And I saw the four footed animals on the earth, the wild animals, the crawling creatures, and the birds of the sky. I also heard a voice saying to me, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. But I said, By no means, Lord, for nothing unholy or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a voice from heaven answered a second time, What God has cleansed no longer considered unholy. This happened three times, and everything was drawn back up into the sky. And behold, at that moment, three men who had been sent to me from Caesarea came up to the house where we were staying. And the Spirit told me to go with them without misgivings. And this six, the, these six brothers also went with me. And we entered the man's house and he reported to us how he had seen the angel standing in his house and saying, Send some men to Joppa and have Simon, who is also called Peter, brought here. 
and he will speak words to you and by which you will be saved and you and all your household and as I began to speak the Holy Spirit fell upon them just as he did upon us at the beginning and I remembered the words of the Lord how he used to say John baptized with the water but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit and therefore if God gave them the same gifts as he also gave to us after believing in the Lord Jesus Christ who was I that I could stand in God's way and when they heard this they quieted down and they glorified God saying well then God has also granted to the Gentiles the repentance that leads to life. The church in Antioch. So then those who were scattered because of the persecution that occurred in connection with Stephen made their way to Pohonica, Cyprus, and Antioch speaking the word to no one except Jews alone. But there were some of them, men of Cyprus and Cyrene, who came to Antioch and began speaking to the priests as well, preaching the good news of the Lord Jesus. And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a large number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas off to Antioch. And then, when he arrived and witnessed the grace of God, he rejoiced and began to encourage them, all with result or resolute heart to remain true to the Lord. For he was a good man, and full of the Holy Spirit. And faith and considerable numbers were added to the Lord. And he left for Taurus to look for Saul. And when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. And for an entire year, they met with the church, and they taught considerable numbers of people. And the disciples were first called Christians in Antioch. And now, at that time, some few prophets came down from Jerusalem to Antioch. And one of them, named Agabus, stood up and indicated by the Spirit that there would definitely be a severe famine all over the world. And this took place in the reign of Claudius, and to the extent that any of the disciples had means, each of them determined to send a contribution for the relief of the brothers and the sisters living in Judea. And they did this, sending it was with Barnabas and Saul to the elders. And that was Acts 11, which continue, uh, concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2024 for today. I, Shenandoah Briscoe, have enjoyed being. Oh, tomorrow we will be covering Job 25 through 27 and Acts 12. So, don't forget to come back tomorrow. Father, I just thank you for your word. Because without your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. And so I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning into the Bible with Briscoe 2024 for today. I, Senator Joel Briscoe, have enjoyed being your messenger of the word of God. And as always, you know, God loves you. And so do I. So. Come back and see us again tomorrow because God willing, we will be here. And we hope that you are too. Thank you and God bless you.